Hello everybody, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, we have joined the modern age and we have bought um, one of those on-track light bar guidance systems. Um, we've got it mainly for the fertilizer to enable us, well not maybe me, to, to enable Ben, brother, um, he does all the fertilizer spreading, all the spraying, to enable him to be accurate. Um, he's very good anyway, you know, he, he, he does all the fertilizer, whenever we film fertilizer, uh, it's always him spreading because he's, you know, he's better at it than me. Um, but what one of the things he wants to do with this new device uh, is go up to 18 meter tram lines in the grassland Previously, we've been 12 um, 18 is a maximum that our spreader will run to um, we're going to stick with 12 on the wheat um, for spraying and what have you but um, <clears throat> You know he wants to go up to 18 for the grassland So that little device has got magnetic feet on it that stick to the bonnet of your tractor now some of you may have noticed in the mowing video and he was using it then on the 7614, which is what it will be mostly used on. Um, but we're just going to pick up the last little bit of soilage today um, and then get the get fertilizer on it quick before it rains, probably this afternoon. Um, so instead of taking the mowers off, because we've got more mowing to do, he's going to put it on, put the spreader onto this tractor for today. The slight issue with this tractor, the bonnet is not made of steel. Um, the big tractor has got a steel bonnet, this one is. I don't know, fiberglass of some sort. So what we've got to do before we can use that magnetic uh, device, there's some little round sticky magnet things that glue onto the bonnet um, and then the unit will stick onto those magnets. So they've got to go on first. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So we've just cleaned off the bonnet to make sure it's not dusty. Uh, we've got this little thingy. So this is the same shape as the device. Um, you can see it's got little holes in the corner. So you stick that where you want to put it and then the magnets go over the little holes Okay, so there was our stickers on. That is now easily visible from the seat. Um, it was a, didn't want exactly sure how it was going to work with a slopey bonnet, um, but you can see it there. And so they take, so they say you want to give them an hour to stick, you know, to go off properly before you put any weight on them. So we're going to go and clear our last field of soilage, um, and they will be well gone off by the time we come back. So at the aim of the game, when you're watching the uh, the device on the bonnet, is to keep that green light at, uh, like a bright green. Um, if you steer slightly off, the red lights tell you which way you've gone wrong, so you need to steer away from the red light. So if the red light comes on to the left hand side of centre, you need to go slightly right. And the aim is to maintain that green light. And as you can see, look, because we've gone turning on the headland, gone way off line. It's gone red, but as we get closer to where we're aiming for, the green light comes on. And just trying to keep that green light on all the time. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're going around the first time around the field. Um, everything on the device is controlled via the iPad over on the window. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. But what we're doing, we're following a pre, what's the word, a pre, pre a pre-recorded boundary line. Okay, so the lights on the bonnet are guiding us to nine meters away from the boundary. And then that, as you can see, it is painting a picture of where we have covered as we're going along. And by having that boundary set, obviously every time you go in the first field you go in, you've got to set your boundary. Um, but now we're into this field for the kind of the second time because this was marked out with a mower. Um, we're gonna we were able to follow the green line, the green light on the device on the bonnet, and that gives us our exact nine meters away from the hedge. Okay, so once you start running up and down the straight work of the field, as you can see over on the iPad, um, there's a line to follow. That is your AB line, um, and the black lines on the screen are 18 meters apart. 
and then you can see it's painting again behind where we've covered um, as it's set at the minute it's always painting so when we're turning on the headland it thinks it's counting up um, can you change that or not can you turn it on and off I suppose you'd have to you'd have you'd have to you have to press a button on the screen to turn it off um, but there's no real need to do that it's just wasting time really isn't it there you can see on the screen we're approaching the headland again shut the spreader off but the line keeps painting and aim for the line on the screen again and then you get your get your green light down on the bonnet over the ground at 18 meters I suppose he's kind of going half as fast again um, as we would normally on 12 or not you know the forward speed's the same but he's altered the veins on the spreader to spread it out wider so what we're putting on I don't think I said just straight nitrogen um, you can see all oh, this has been cut this is what we did in the first little bit of silage 
and this is without doubt the hardest time of year to spread fertilizer because on this bare stubble you just cannot see where you've been even even when I'm walking across it you struggle to see where he's driven never mind when you're in a tractor 12 meters away or even more so 18 meters away um, so up till now he's always used a blob marker on the front um, you know it's been perfectly adequate for a for 12 meter spreading um, whether whether you could I, I dare say we're going to get a comment somebody's going to say the you can use a blob marker 18 meters um, but you just get a bit more margin for error as you get wider apart um, but hopefully this new device um, should keep accurate for you know we can go out to that 18 meters which like I said earlier on is the maximum the spreader will you know our spreader won't go any wider so there's no need to go you know so we can't that's as wide as we can go um, so I ought to just say you know we have bought that on track device we bought it we paid full whack for it um, it's not it's not a gift this is this isn't an advert or nothing uh, it's just something we decided we you know this year the fertilizer um, well not just this year is it it's going to be going on going forwards the fertilizer price that's how it's going to be now for the foreseeable future um, so if we can be, be more accurate hopefully that device will pay for itself fairly well um, it costs less than a ton of fertilizer <laughs> let's just say that um, you know they're not massively expensive but it but you do need that tablet to run it you cannot use it as just a standalone device on the bonnet um, you do need either a phone or a tablet to communicate with it because that's how you set your working widths and your area measurements and all that um, so what he's doing he's drawing he's just doing the last field um, he is drawing that map out on the iPad so we'll have a look at that in a minute um, when he's finished and uh, you know just kind of wrap the video up okay so here is a close-up of the kind of, what's that called a coverage map I guess um, you will see there's lots of over covering on the headlands um, purely because it doesn't turn on and off as you turn it on the headland so you can if you want but there's really no point messing about with all that um, and this here it tells you area covered if I can focus on it 13.2 hectares it says um, obviously that's not right because it's counting all the time um, and you're turning and, and little bits of overlap but you can't avoid overlap unless you've got fancy spreaders that turn on and off which we haven't got so so there we go that is a little overview of this newfangled device so there we go all finished so like I said the the mapping system said we covered 13.2 hectares um, we've just added the actual field sizes up it actual area covered and um, was 11.1 .1. so it's not far out and like I said it's just those turning on the headlands constantly and um, without pressing the screen to stop it it thinks it's spreading all the time when in reality it's not uh, but for what we're doing it for which is the guidance up and down um, there's no need to keep messing about pressing buttons um, you know it's just an extra job to do when you're trying to get on and do something important so there we go um, time will tell whether it's accurate um, it's like I said it's new he's still trying to get used to it um, so we'll say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.